هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentit ni masi zoif karis amenos. Good morning everybody, yeah. yeah. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlogs. <laughs> Let me get the timer started, here we go. Uh, Christos anesti, the response is Elathos anesti. That means Christ is risen. Alathos and Esti is truly his risen. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Time for the uh, time and date stamp. It is 18 hours and 26 minutes into the day of Saturday, April 26, 2014. Yeah, yesterday we went on a rather long walk. <laughs> Uh, I vlogged for the first half, but it was raining after the second half. When I got to the point where we started heading towards uh, TNT, uh, it was raining too heavily up to really to bring the camera out anymore, and uh, so that's what that, that's what kind of what happened. Uh, so then after shopping, it was dark already, and by the time I got back, which is about eight. See, I left, I left at uh, around 5.30, 6 o'clock. I left. No, it was 6 o'clock. I didn't leave until 5.30. Because I never leave. I, I never. It was the weekday. I never leave before 6 o'clock. Because if you leave before 6 o'clock, between 3 and 6, you run into rush hour traffic. And, and who wants that? And it, rush hour traffic does affect walking. Because there's a lot of cars you have to watch out for. And, you know. This is particularly when you are crossing the streets. Uh, so it's better if you go after six. And so six, I got back around eight thirty, nine o'clock. So that's a three-hour hike. It, it, well, it's not. It's, it wasn't that bad in, ter in terms of the, the length, the total length of time. It wasn't that bad because uh, I didn't do my usual uh, interrupted shopping. In other words, when I usually go shopping, I take my time. And if I see there's stuff in extra stores, I go in extra stores and sort of see if there's anything inter interesting that I want, uh, or things anything's on sale. I look for sales that are that are not advertised, and that's how I do that. I mean, you get you can actually get stuff, a lot of good stuff, if you do the sort of random shopping, because stores often have sales that are not advertised. They have things on clearance and markdown, and they'll do a special markdown. They'll do a special clearance that's not necessarily advertised. And if you can pick those up, then as a free gift, that's a good thing because you, you can get them, uh, these markdown, these specials can be up to 80% off, 80% off the regular price. So uh, you can get something uh, for uh, $20 or $30 uh, that's normally uh, 100 and up. So, you know, that's kind of how you do your vegan, your, your freeganism. Is you, if you can't get to the thrift stores, you look at these other stores that might have these sort of one-off sales that aren't advertised, then uh, uh, that's how you do it. Uh, and so that's why I do uh, when I do my regular shopping, uh, my routine shopping. I do stop off at these particular stores and uh, fit around, take a look, at, see what might be what might, what might, might be interesting, what looks to be a good price. Uh, in other words, you compare. You do a lot of. You have to do a lot of comparative shopping, uh, and that's what happens during my regular shopping days. Uh, because I was doing the extra shopping, I didn't do the comparative shopping that, that I usually do. Uh, so the time in total was the same, but the distances was further. So <laughs> because the the stores are at two opposite ends. They're two, uh, one uh, store is one, uh, is one or two blocks, uh, city blocks, to the west, and the other store for me is one or two city blocks to the east. So, uh, on total length, 
you know, the horizontal length, uh, talking about a total of uh, one way would be four city blocks, and uh, I did it twice because you have to go, go and coming. So I did all, all in all, about, I did about eight to, eight to nine miles, I would say. That's the estimate, eight to nine miles of walking yesterday. Uh, so needless to say, I am sore, I'm tired. <laughs> my mind seems to be all right, but my eyes can't stay open. So, <laughs> as I said before, you're gonna see me as you know, as as my effort is to be uh, uh, uncut, uncensored, real and raw. You know, in terms of a reality show, you're gonna see me on camera yawning. You're gonna see me with my eyes closed because I can't keep my eyes open at this particular point in time. It's uh, takes up too much energy, so it's easier for me to have my eyes closed. He's not looking at me. No, nope, my eyes are closed. I'm half asleep. <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of the way things are. Uh, and um, I hope, uh, I know from uh, what I've gotten, I got an email that, about a partnership, so I'm being invited into a partnership, so I'm going to work on that today. Uh... But in, ter in those terms, you know, being real, you're gonna see everything. You know, you're gonna see when I'm tired. You're gonna see when I'm uh, all right. When I'm, you know, when I'm more awake and, and and so on and so forth. And and I'm also trying now. You'll see to film in more places. So you'll see the uh, the freaking laundry room. My laundry room is not really a laundry room. It's a section of the room that's uh, <laughs> I do my laundry in. But you see the uh, the uh, the clothing rack, the drying rack that I built. Uh, again, it's all out of reclaimed materials. It's not anything that's brand new. It's all reclaimed materials. So, uh, this is, you know, Freakinism goes to the clearance shows, the sales, uh, that are unadvertised. You do a lot of comparative shopping. You have to do a lot of walking around. Uh, Freakinism is, you, if you can do it, you build stuff from reclaimed reclaim materials. So, it's not brand new. It's stuff that you got that was lying around, and you rebuilt something out of it. You repurposed it. The same thing with rooms. If a room is out of use or you're not doing something with it anymore, you, you take it down eventually and then you repurpose and you reclaim that space for something else. And that's kind of what goes on here continuously uh, as things improve, as things upgrade. Uh, this is kind of how what I call leveling up in the game. If, you're, if freeganism is the game, every time you repurpose a space, you're leveling up. Uh, and if you can do that more than once a year, and that's kind of what happens with Cyborg Alpha. Cyborg Alpha is going up for another upgrade again uh, as of Monday. Uh, that's leveling up. If uh, the research desk itself is uh, on the gone two upgrades so far since it starts, since it began in uh, December, January, right? December, January is when we, we finished our first upgrade. We started functioning in, in, in December, January, and now we're on. Uh, we're already doing our second upgrade of it, and it's functioning again. So, uh, you know, that's again leveling up. Uh, also, leveling up is if you want to look at your spirituality as a game, and you look at things as like uh, trying to fight, find the right religion, uh, and the religion is the definition of your theology. It's, it's sort of how the theology plays out in real life. It's the practice of, of, of theology. Uh, once you understand that, you've leveled up to a certain degree because now you can sort of go out and do a comparative uh, study of religions. If you understand that all behind all religions there is a theology, not all theology is the same. So each uh, religion, each religion has a different theology behind it. Understand the theology, and now you can understand why there is a difference between the religions, uh, and that's a, a a next level of understanding in spirituality. You, if you're still on uh, candles and uh, yoga mats, it, you're on the very superficial level that most people are at. That's what most people start at. So, uh, if you want to go further than that, then you have to level up and you have to get into uh, uh, learning about theology and how theology compares to religion. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Our time is up. And I will see you in the next segment. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. We get our timer started. 
And we give you the time and date stamp. It is 20 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Sunday, April 27th, 2014. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting our day started. Uh, I was supposed to go to church this morning, but I ended up not going. Uh, my legs were too sore. What ended up happening on Friday, uh, when I was making the roast at the, in the kitchen diner, uh, what ended up happening, I ended up running out of peppercorns. So I went to one store on food basics, and you'll see this in the video. Uh, I actually uh, vlogged the, uh, the the jaunt. Uh, I ended up going to food basics in one direction, and then uh, then TNT in the other one because food basics didn't have what I needed. So it was surprising because you know food basics. Uh, you you would think on a Friday that their stores would be full, that the shelves would be full for the weekend. You know that they would have everything in stock but their shelves were completely empty so I don't know what's happening to, to that particular store I think it's uh, as I said before if you if you're a store and you're a manager and you want your store to fail you know just keep t disappointing your customer you know you, you know don't have things on your shelves have almost expired milk have almost expired products out there all the time no matter when you go whether it's, you know <laughs> whether it's a busy day or not uh, and slowly but surely, one by one, customers will start to leave. And then you will have what you want, an empty store. <laughs> um, so I ended up going to T my, uh, the usual Asian store, TNT, and I got what I needed. Everything was there. And so basically for spices, now I crossed uh, Food Basics off the list. I mean, I've crossed the food basics, off, food basics off my list for almost, almost everything, except for butter and this one type of rye bread that I like. Uh, I guess what happens is this this rye bread no one else carries it. Everybody else has gone down to a um, a, a very light or a light rye bread. Uh, I like the full rye bread, and this one food basics does carry that, and there it's there all the time. But as soon as that's gone, <laughs> there's nothing left for me to go to food basics for. So, but uh, uh, that being said. Uh, when the morning came uh, for me to go to church, uh, I got up. I uh, kind of got up. It was it was weird because basically around uh, two o'clock in the morning, my legs started feeling very sore. My joints were very sore, so I went to bed to lie down because the warmth under the covers helps the uh, pain go away and it helps the body heal itself. But I got up anyways. Uh, to get ready to church, and within uh, 18 minutes, my legs started hurting again, and that was the end of it. I wasn't able to go to church, so <laughs> because I wasn't able to stand for too long, my body's still in a little bit of pain. It's still, it's, it's still like that now, uh, but it's not that bad. And by tomorrow, everything should be fine. Uh, so where does that leave us now? That leaves us with uh, the week to get started. As I said before, there's no real weekend here, uh, and there's no real time off. You take a couple hours off here, you take a couple of hours off there, and that's your time off. Well, the rest of the time is spent uh, working on the different bits bit and pieces of the puzzle. And you can go back and look at uh, at the previous vlogs that, that are titled uh, the, the Puzzle, and there's a whole series of them. And that introduces you to uh, how things work around here that things are in bits and pieces they're like a big puzzle and then periodically you have to try to fit everything together to see what fits together what doesn't fit together and if you find things that are f starting to fit together that's a good thing and uh, that's kind of how the institutes are starting to fit together um, uh, the work on the editing bay that's coming along that's you know slowly but surely progressing uh, you'll see a new um, for the next 50 days uh, you know, for the next couple of weeks anyways, you will see a new opening theme. This opening theme is uh, the uh, the chants uh, to uh, Pascha. These are the Pascha chants uh, uh, from within my... This isn't my church thing, but this is the type of, 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 of songs you will hear in the church. So uh, that's why I put them this for this particular type of period. So, you know, it's... it's, it's uh, a, a festive season. I am eat, uh, I am still uh, in the in the, in the feasting mode, 
Uh, but then, but then again, when I'm not in the feasting mode, <laughs> you know, if you if you're if you're a Greek and you're living your your Greek lifestyle, the hodio style, uh, where you have good food almost every single day and you have good food on the weekend, you know, because you you go to church and you have dinner with the family, then uh, Easter Easter and Christmas, uh, you know, from the Canadian point of view, from the Western point of view, that's every that's every single day. And every single week is like that. <laughs> so it's not that you're having a Greek festival uh, for two weeks in the summer and that's it. Or you're having it maybe on maybe on Christmas, maybe on Pascha. You know, it, 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 you're having a Greek, a little bit of a Greek festival. You have it. Every, you live it every single day of your life, and that's sort of the way I live my life. It's every single day of the life. Uh, I live that sort of hodio lifestyle, and as I said the hodio lifestyle, the village lifestyle fits in with being freegan. And as in my choice to being freegan was, well, look and see what my uncles, aunts and uncles did who, who came from the whole York because they came with nothing. Um, I mean, I was watching this uh, this uh, show on RT and, you know, I understand the whole thing about the fractional banking and uh, the whole thing of the evil corporation. But the thing is, in many cases, this whole thing of the evil corporation only affects well, we should say no. It doesn't affect the immigrants. The immigrants come in; they do very well. Uh, my aunts and uncles were no exception. The uh, the Chinese are no exception. The Asians are no exception. Every time a, 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 an Asian group comes in, uh, or, or an immigrant comes in, they do very well. And the, the thing is, is that what my un I understood from my uncles, what I learned from my uncles, is that it's the attitude they had growing up. We have an extremely entitled attitude for the average, average Western or average North American. We expect things. Uh, the, my uncles, many of, most of my uncles, didn't go to school beyond the age of grade 12, beyond the age of, of age, age 12, let's say. As a matter of fact, most of them were out working and had jobs, full-time jobs, at 11 years old. They were the kids you see in these videos, you know, these, these, these videos that are saying, yo, child labor is wrong, blah, 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 blah. Well. A lot of these, these my that are not my uncles who are, who are older people now, their their grandfathers now, uh, they all were those eleven year old kids working, and they did very well for them. And they live in neighborhoods where, given the same paycheck that a North American is given, the North American is living like crap, and the immigrants are living like kings. <laughs> so, when you take the same that that sort of that view. And you look at the immigrant compared to the uh, native, the North American and the Westerner, uh, you see it's, it, the issue is not the evil bank, it's, it's individual. It's, it's how the individual lives his lifestyle, how he understands and what he expects from life. So anyways, uh, that's it for now. Our time is up and it's time to get the day started. I will see you. Uh, hopefully later on we'll see what, what, what I can get done for today in terms of vlogging. Alright, take it easy. Good morning everybody! Yeah, and it's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. Our usual, get the timer started. That's right, here we go. Time and day set message, that's it. My morning is not necessarily morning, so it is now 17 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Tuesday, April 29th, 2014. Yesterday was my dad's birthday, so happy birthday, Dad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I went over to uh, the parents' house. We had a, had a good dinner. Uh, that's kind of the usual routine, though. Uh, is I've kept up a good relationship with my parents. I have not well, I haven't uh, gone off places and gone off to a far off place, and only see uh, my parents and other such relatives uh, on uh, what is it uh, holidays like uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and maybe Easter. <laughs> so uh, I see them on a regular basis. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty, so I'm not I'm not gonna have any regrets. Ho hopefully, uh, but it's you know it's it's been an odd last couple of days have been kind of odd. 
Uh, it's uh, I'm leveling up again. And what I mean by leveling up again is that uh, we're going in for another up upgrade. I'm upgrading this time. I'm upgrading um, Cyborg Alpha Mu. I'm getting ready for an expedition this summer, so I decided to upgrade it now because I'm, get I'm getting more deeply involved in an FFmpeg project. FFmpeg is uh, the uh, the program on Linux that handles a lot of video work. If you're doing video editing and so on and so forth, and because this is important to me, I do a lot of video, you know, well, the whole TV channel, Cyborg Alpha TV, and the network, Cyborg Alpha TV network. All depends on FFmpeg. So if something happens to that, well, then I'm kind of out of luck. <laughs> but uh, so you do have to get involved. And this is where I said, you know, I was talking about, you know, with open source, at some point in time, you do have to give, get involved. You do have to give back. And this is sort of the situation here is that uh, I, I'm starting to get involved on, on a more... Uh, <clears throat> On a more uh, detailed basis, let's put it this way. So I am talking to different people involved in the project, uh, and now I'm going to try to sort of figure my way around the whole thing. I've got to sort of do the the whole thing, you know, map out the project, find out what where everything is, who everybody is, uh, and what's being done and what's not being done, and then start to proceed from there to uh, build. Uh, FFmpeg to make sure that it stays a good project, but a good product, a good software product. What had happened? <clears throat> here, I'm gonna take a breath here. <laughs> what had happened is that uh, Ubuntu seems to be having a bit of an issue, and I think a lot of it has to do with ego. It's got, it's got some psychological problems, <laughs> where it seems to be uh, veering off. Uh, the uh, open source uh, road. So it's basically a drunken driver. It's got some professional software developers at its helm, uh, or somewhat at its helm. And <clears throat> they tend to be a little bit like, my, my, like Microsoft. They did tend to be ignore everybody else and sort of well blah 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 we know best and uh, we're professional software developers and as I said that ego thing where <clears throat> the ego usually precedes the talent to a significant degree and what I mean by that is that in many cases uh, when they think they've developed something that's amazing uh, more often than not it doesn't work and then it causes conflicts or oh, some I don't know. For everything else, and that's sort of what's happened is Ubuntu has made some uh, MS type changes. Uh, we'll just put it that way: call it, it, it bad changes, crappy changes, or MS type changes that <clears throat> have really sort of screwed things up for Ubuntu. So now, at this point, this is where other developers would say, "Oh, I've had enough of Ubuntu. I'm going off to something else and do some do my own thing." And that's what you know. Mint came off of there. There's a one called Poseidon that came off of there. There are a whole variety of uh, distros uh, that have come off of Ubuntu when they weren't happy with what Ubuntu has done. But the thing is, is that in open source, if you really want to stay open source, the thing is not to go off and do your own thing necessarily, but to try to take, and this is if Ubuntu stays true to its core, stays true to the Linux core, then Canonical can do whatever it wants to do with Ubuntu because you can then take whatever Ubuntu has given you and then redesign it so that it works for you. That's the way Linux works. Linux is supposed to be open and customizable. So if if Ubuntu and Canonical want to go off and do one thing, that's fine. If that's what the product they want to put out because Ubuntu now is very popular and they want to put out a popular product for the average person, then yeah, you know, they can go ahead and do that. But if you're a person who needs something more specific, uh, because it is Linux, you can take the Ubuntu product, the base product, and reconfigure it, re you know, customize it, retailor it to your own specific needs. And that's the way, you know, that's the way I'm, I'm sort of approaching this whole FFM prep problem. Is well they Ubuntu went off and created its own um, 
uh, AVs, uh, sort of uh, set of libraries. And these libraries and programs control how video editing is done on the system. Uh, and they kind of left FFmpeg out of, out of the sort of this, out of, out of the loop. And there are a lot of people who are upset who, because there's a lot of programs and video editing that depend on FFmpeg. And the new stuff hasn't been tested. And so this is the problem. One of the reasons, you know, this is one of the reasons why I haven't moved from, from one of my main editing bay from 13.4 to 13.10 is if 13.4 still is on the old FFmpeg, well, 13.10 is on the, uh, on the new uh, Ubuntu system. And I, don't, and I don't know whether the new Ubuntu li uh, uh, editing system, the video editing system, is going to be any good. I haven't really tested it out. It, I should get to a point, I'm at a point now, where I should be able to test out the editing functions on it this week. We will see what happens. I'll test it out. And if it's okay, then I will proceed to start upgrading the editing bay to uh, 1310. But for now, things are going to stay the way they are uh, until I get a good handle on this. But this is it. It, th these things do take some time to work out. You need to sort of sit down and see how things work. Uh, for myself... I don't care about numbers. Uh, there is a bunch of best bench testing. These bench tests uh, throw out tons of numbers. And I don't care about that. I don't care about the numbers. My view is very basic. Does it work? You know, when you're editing a video, what problems pop up? Does it do a function that it's supposed to do? Does it crash? These are the things that interest me. Interest me. That's my bench test. Does it work? <laughs> That's the basic one. If it works and you can, or, or it has some problems, or you can, and, and you can find a workaround for it, then that's where you go. So, uh, <coughs> I do have a bit of work. Uh, well, I have a fair bit of work ahead of me this week. Uh, so, uh, I will talk to you more later today. We'll see how things go. Anyways, our time is now up. The the, the, the sort of the signal has gone off for that, and I will see you. Hopefully later on today. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. Beginning to do our walk. Yeah, we're going food shopping again. I've got my umbrella with me. And, uh, and see, it's uh, time of day step. It's just about 6.30 on April 30th. So, not the time and date stamp. It's the first vlog of the day. This is normally I'd be doing this in, in the uh, back room uh, on the couch, but uh, it's uh, time to go food shopping. So I decided not to do that there, not to vlog there, but to do it here. Uh, so that's why we're here. But if you can see. Yeah, it's rather foggy out, so... <laughs> uh, but the lighting seems to be alright. It seems to be okay for the, lo uh, for the lighting, so... Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, I'm going through upgrades again. Uh, to talk about uh, uh, gaming, you know, the gaming RL. Uh, for me, upgrades is uh, leveling up. And... I'm fixing up uh, Cyborg Alpha Mu. A fourth tablet has been added. That means we have a full development bench on uh, Android tablets. And two that will mirror and handle the functions of the office. So uh, I can now bring the entire office with me, have all the functionalities of the desktop with me on the tablet. And yeah. So wherever I go, from out places, work can always be done. You know, particularly my studying. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, I've also gotten uh, started work on FFmpeg, the FFmpeg project. That's begun. Woo! It's a little windy out. Uh, Let's wait for the wind to die down. Every time there's a gust. <laughs> Woo, that's really windy out here. I don't know.
know if you can hear me over this, but uh, over the wind. But I'll try my best to be above the wind. Uh, <laughs> I do have noise reduction on here. I don't know how it's going to work out. I'll find out when I get back to the office and I, and I uh, start working on the on this upload. Uh, I have an episode of Ubuntu BC Unix Helm all set up. It's all ready to go. I have the studio set up to ready to shoot. So I should be able to get that out this week. Uh, and that will continue, that will sort of uh, talk more in depth about the FFmpeg project, where I am in, in it, and where uh, I intend to go. So uh, that's the yay for that. Uh, I don't know how long, what type of uh, uh, schedule I'm going to set for, for the uh, Ubuntu BC unit. So I think I'm going to do bi weekly. Uh, that seems to be a better pace until. I got the production schedule down to a routine. And once it's down to a routine, then it can move up to a weekly schedule. So, uh, these are things that have to be worked on. I'm not really too sure how things are going to go. So, uh, anyways, we're at the beginning of our walk. We're coming to the end of the street. I have to cross that street there. So, that's going to take a, uh, a bit of uh, attention. So, I will vlog after that. We'll come back after that. Ugh, sorry. Swallowed wrong. Across the street. So now it's time to uh, start vlogging again. I still do have to be careful because I'm on the street now. I'm walking on the street. And there are always cars that come along. And you have to be careful that they see you. So uh, I'm going to stop off at one of these uh, one of the department stores. I usually stop off at the, uh, the basement one. Uh, I'm going to look for some cheap rain gear. I got this umbrella for about a buck. Uh, now people ask you why did I get pink and white like this? Well, because sometimes I walk at night, oh, it's starting to rain, let's get the umbrella out. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Just a few drops. If it gets worse, I'll open this up. Pink and white, particularly when it's gray and dark outside, helps you become visible. I know when I'm driving with my dad in the car, that if people are wearing all dark, you can't see them. And that's a danger. So, when you're walking, you need to be visible. And that means white and bright colors. So, yay for that. But anyways, I do like white and I do like pink. Um, these are my happy colors. Uh, I have a variety of happy colors, so not just these. But uh, these are amongst my happy colors, so uh, I have no problem problems with pink. <laughs> I know other people do, but uh, I don't. So, oh. anyways, I think that's all I got to say for now. And after I get out of, the, out of the department store, if I can think of something more to say, I will. But, uh, until then, adio. I just finished shopping. It's, uh, kind of gray. Well, it's foggy. You can't see much of anything. So this is what we're seeing here. It is rather foggy out. The wind is still here. But, uh, you know, this is the way things go. I'm the type of person who I'm always a weather type of person. I like all different types of weather. Uh, I can be outside in all different types of weather too. So uh, that, I think that's the whole thing. I can be outside uh, in all types of weather. So <laughs> uh, the weather doesn't bother me as much. I know some people they want you know they want hot all the time. They want or they want uh, you know nice weather all the time. But uh, for me this is nice. I you know is, I, I like the change in the weather. So. Uh, not a problem for me, something I actually enjoy. I actually like rainy days. Rainy days, and this is sort of uh, what happened over the last few days, Monday and Tuesday, uh, because there's a day missing from the vlog. And uh, uh, I got into one of those sleep patterns where uh, now I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping days again, but awake at night. So uh, it's a bizarre feeling because uh, when you're sleeping during the day, the dreams you have during the day are actually different from what you have at night. 
So, <laughs> it actually, uh, the bizarre thing is, I think the dreams during the day are more lucid than the ones you have at night. But I seem to remember the ones during the day more than I do the ones at night. So, I remember the ones at night, but uh, they're not, not as much as I do for the ones during the day. So, the body seems to know whether it's night or day, even though uh, the body is sleeping during the day period, you know, so, uh, go figure, go figure with that one, you know, that was sort of an observation, and why that is, I'm not really too sure, but, uh, that's kind of the way it is, uh, I got everything I needed, plus they had some extra sales on there, and this is it, sometimes stores have sales, unadvertised sales, particularly when they have things on clearance, and you can pick up a lot of good stuff like that, and I just did that, I picked up some new appliances, uh, new, or actually one new appliance, uh, for the kitchen diner this will allow me to make cheese yogurt and so on and so forth a lot easier and so I got it for a rather cheap price it was on clearance it was uh, more than 50% off so yay for that uh, when I'm, ti when I'm qu quiet like that there's somebody passing me by I don't want to uh, freak people out by vlogging <laughs> I mean, I, I do get looks as I'm vlogging anyways, but uh, if you're vlogging while someone's coming towards you, uh, it's kind of difficult because they may think you're talking to them. So, <laughs> I mean, I've had that happen before, so. Uh, anyways, I'm going to turn this off now. My arm is getting tired. So, uh, when I'm a little past uh, the section where I am now, because I do have to cross streets, I'll vlog some more, add another section to this because it doesn't seem to be too bad out in terms of vlogging. And we'll talk some more. Alrighty. This is the part I never usually get to, or usually forget to do, because usually it's too dark, or I'm too tired, or the stuff I'm carrying on my back is too heavy. Well, this is case, is it's, it's kind of heavy, but it's not that bad, so it's light out still light enough out to do the vlog so we'll do this section of the walk as the closing section of the walk i'm back on my street i'm walking towards uh, my building and that will conclude the walk now for those of you who are looking at the description down below i've changed up the description it's hard trying to put in everything i talk about in the vlog so the vlog is about a half hour, it covers sometimes a couple days, and there's a lot of topics we talk about. We talk about a lot of different things, and it's impossible to put everything in. So I've decided now the topics are simply going to be general, the general things we talk about, like the kitchen diner, or uh, Beauty and the Geek, or Harajuku, you know, the styles out of Harajuku, because that's where Beauty and the Geek is going. We're going towards the Harajuku style, towards Harajuku fashion and fashion design. And that's where the closet project comes in. <sighs> Walking uphill with a load on your back and trying to talk does get to winter, particularly if you don't time your breath properly. So that's the whole key here is talk, timing my breathing with uh, the strain on my body so that uh, when I'm talking, I don't get winded. <laughs> Training. Yeah, well, this is what practice is for, too. This is why this is good practice. That uh, when you're on camera, you can have a presence while you're on camera. Uh, you can sort of start thinking better when you're on camera. A lot of people don't understand that when the camera turns on, for some reason, your mind turns off. And your stare, you start staring into the lens, your blink rate goes bizarre, goes off, so that it looks like you're staring at the, the lens completely. There's uh, no sense of eye contact, if there is eye contact generally anyways, and then the discussion kind of, well, dies. <laughs> so anyways, uh, this is our shopping and philosophy. And this shopping philosophy, we around even when we're not going shopping because there's always philosophy to talk about. In this part, for those of you who don't understand, 
or didn't get it the first time? This is Peripatetics. Peripatetics is a school of philosophy that was done in ancient Greece while walking. So this is it. This is Peripatetics. Peripatetics is philosophy and shopping at the same time. And one of the philosophies I enjoy is getting discounts on top of discounts. And that's kind of what I what I do, and this is what I sort of what I have in my backpack now. Is if you wait for a bit, let's say you see a sign, an item come in on discount, and you want a further discount, instead of getting it right as it comes out, you wait a bit. And as you wait and you watch, you will see a point in time when they'll put that discounted item on clearance. And when that happens, on top of the already on top of the discount you're already receiving, you get a further discount. So yay for that. Anyways, we're approaching the end, the last bit. So I will say goodbye for now. And I'll probably vlog later on tonight. We'll see what happens. Alright. Bye-bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.